Hi everybody, Patrick here, coming to you from the mountains around my home. That's the Whitehorn, that's a little mountain hut where I plan to get a beer. And that's the Rosengarten group of the Dolomites. Very beautiful, definitely go hiking there if you come to the Dolomites. Which camera I go with? Yeah, I need to travel light guys, it's a long hike. Something that just fits here in my cozy speed very easily. What could it be? Yeah, that's it. That's all I need today. 100 megapixel medium format on my hip. So guys, I had my beer, it was delicious. And I, I want to very, very quickly talk about Fujifilm autofocus by taking a look at this list here. And this one shows the autofocus accuracy for uh, bird tracking made by Matthew Gasquet, who is one of my top favorite reviewers out there, so I totally trust him. And we can see that Yes, the Fujifilm X-H2 cameras lag behind all the top tier cameras. You see the X-H2 has a hit rate of 82%, the X-H2 of 78%, but other cameras go up to 94%, up to 98%, so that's crazy good. And if seen from this perspective, yes, Fujifilm has still some work to do, definitely. And I, to be clear, they must improve, they must work on it. Fujifilm, back to the workbench. But that's not the whole story. What's very relevant, so if you're not like me who shoots at single autofocus or at 5 FPS max, I'm, sometimes I think I'm the only one because I read in forums like, it seems everybody shoots at 40 FPS. Anyway, but I get it. If you need that because maybe you're a bird photographer and you want to um, photograph these two, three seconds where the bird flies down and catches the fish and flies away, it's just a matter of a split second, then what you want is to have as many sharp images a second as you possibly can. So. If we adjust the ranking for how many sharp images do this camera give us per second, then it looks like this. And then you can see that the X-H2 suddenly is very high on the ranking and other cameras that were on top fall back. Why is that? Because the X-H2S can shoot at 40 FPS. So 82% hit rate of 40 FPS will still give you more sharp images per second than let's say a much more expensive Sony A1 that maxes out at 30 FPS. So, if you want to get as many sharp images as possible, the X-H2S is actually an excellent pick, an excellent choice for you. There are other shortcomings though that Matthew pointed out that are more important. And that Fujifilm definitely has to fix. So he noticed that the camera tends to be distracted by the background when tracking birds. That's why he only, only got a 82% hit rate. Other cameras don't get distracted that easily. Another issue that he pointed out is also that the position of the bird influences the hit rate. So while other camera brands, it doesn't matter how the, the bird is turned around, it will always keep tracking him. Maybe the X-H2S, when the bird is not facing towards the camera or whatever, it can lose it, the bird for a moment. So that's also to improve. And the third one, he said that the autofocus, the new autofocus firma 3.0 and later of the X-H2S actually gave him a lower hit rate compared to the old firma 1.03 that he tested previously. So yeah, Fujifilm, that shouldn't happen. So just go back and on the workbench, work on it and improve it again. So that was it. I hope you're fine and doing absolutely fantastic. See you in the next video with, I think the next one will be about the rumor.